Hey everyone, and welcome to Brian's Spanish Cove. Today we're taking a look at room 116. I just did a walk around, I put all the lights on, and I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's take a look. So stepping in the front door, you'll see right in front of you, it leads into the common area and the full kitchen. But before we head that way, let's go ahead and turn this direction to one of the bedrooms. So before we actually step in, I do want to take note that this can be closed off. So this might be a great option if you have a couple kids staying with you. There is a vanity right here and a big mirror so everyone can get ready for their day all at once. There's only one sink, but that's not that big of a deal because there is plenty of room to spread out on this really, really big counter. And speaking of that, we do have some cabinet space down here that is available to put things away. I do want to note that it is very clean under here. Doesn't look like there's any dust or anything, so that is wonderful. Next, let's take a look at the bathroom that goes in this little wing of this room. There is a fan, towels, of course, a toilet. This is definitely a very small bathroom. It's kind of squeezed back here, but it will do the job. There are amenities there mounted on the wall and just a basic shower. There is a handrail, which is wonderful as well. Very deep tub, which is nice. The downside is that this door does open in and so it is really close to the toilet bowl there. That's not something I'm a big fan of, but it happens, so. If we turn this way, you'll see the technically second bedroom. This has two twin beds, I believe. There is no overhead light in this room, so it is rather dark in here, but it does keep things kind of cozy, which is nice. Some art on the wall. There is an alarm clock right there and some storage as well. Again, nice and clean in here, which is fantastic. This room does have a window that looks out onto the air conditioning units. Even though there is a window right there next to the bed, it is definitely still private. And then if we turn this way, there is a rather large television, which is really nice. And again, we have a five drawer dresser right here. There is also a closet back here. And I will say it is a large closet with a light, which is fantastic. This is a great way to store all of your luggage, all of your extra stuff that you're bringing with you can fit in here as well. So you don't have to keep it out in the open and it won't take up any extra space. Moving back out into the entryway, we turn into this beautiful kitchen. This is a full kitchen with seating for six and I will say there is plenty of room to have a family of six, even six full grown adults enjoying a meal in this kitchen. Now I mentioned the size of this kitchen because while you will find kitchens, full kitchens even, in rooms like this, like two bedroom villa or condo style rooms, I haven't yet seen a place that has a kitchen that is this size with so much room to spread out and really just enjoy being in the kitchen. More often than not, it's a tiny table shoved up in a corner and there's enough places for people to sit but not comfortably, so this is really nice. But let's take a closer look at what's actually in these cabinets though because, you know, you wanna know what to expect, so. Again, very clean in there, nothing up here. We do have a broom and a trash, casserole dishes. There is a blender here, which is fantastic. Sometimes you have to request that. It's nice that you don't have to. Knives. Again, empty down here. We do have a full stove with an oven. 
a microwave. Nothing up here. Have some dishes so you don't have to bring anything with you. Bowls and a colander. We also have a Pyrex here and a pitcher so you can make your lemonade. Here we have a coffee pot. Now look at this. This is a nice one. It has like a actual insulated crack. That's nice. Toaster, some coffee, salt and pepper, tiniest little salt and pepper shakers. And then of course we have some more pots and pans down here. So as you can see, everything that you need is here in this kitchen to do whatever it is that you would like to do while you are here. A little bit of water damage down there, it happens. We've got our sink, of course we have our dishwasher, everything that we need right here to keep everything clean and some glassware right there. There's also a full refrigerator with an ice maker, which is really great because, I mean, especially in the summertime, if you're headed to the parks, it's nice to have a lot of ice in your water bottles. If we step down here into the living area, you'll see there are two couches. So again, plenty of space to spread out. They have recently been vacuumed, which is fantastic. Coffee tables, and there's even a fireplace. And we have a television and a TV stand with more drawers so that you can tuck more things away. Now you will see these sliding doors. They do let out into a screened off patio area. We'll check that out here in a second, but first, Let's head into the main bedroom. Now this is a king room, so it does have a king size bed, which we're looking at right here. I do like that there is a fun headboard. It does make it feel a little bit special in here. Gives it a little bit of style. There's the television and another dresser. There are nightstands on either side of the bed and there's plenty of space on either side of the bed to get in and out of bed. This is something that I talk about every time I do a room review. I do think that it's important to have plenty of space to get out of bed and there's no problems with that here. We have another closet over here, plenty of space to hang your stuff and there is a safe in here as well and then finally we have the bathroom so here as we enter there is a toilet it's kind of compartmentalized over here it does feel a little bit tight definitely not as tight as the other bathroom and then if we turn this way it opens up into a rather large shower room so if we step over here, you'll see the deep bathtub again. Amenities right there. And just a pretty standard shower head, again with the bars, which is wonderful because it is a really deep tub. And if we turn this way, there is a lovely vanity area with two sinks. And of course, storage under here, extra towels, toilet paper, hair dryer. So plenty of room to tuck some stuff away, but also some of the stuff you need. Now this room also has laundry, which is located right here off of the kitchen. So we do have a washer and dryer right here, and we do have soap. So we can do a load of laundry. Of course, you can bring whatever your preference of laundry soap is. But finally, before we wrap this up, let's take a look 
outside onto this patio area because it is absolutely gorgeous. Brian's Spanish Cove is located on a lake and this room, 116, has a view of that lake. Now, while this room has a beautiful view of the lake that isn't to be missed and a screened in patio with a table and chairs out there for you to enjoy, there are also tables and chairs just beyond the area that is your patio. So it's not the most private of rooms. As you can see, there is the screened in patio with our set of table and chairs. And right there are the table and chairs that other guests can enjoy. And it is worth mentioning, especially if you're looking for this room in particular, that the pool is only a few steps away. So there are a lot of people out there hanging out by the pool that you can see and can presumably see you right from your living room area. So it's not the most private, but it is a beautiful view. But I would like to know what you think of this room. Would you stay here? Have you stayed here before? And do you think that this could be an alternative to something like a Disney Vacation Club villa? Let me know by leaving a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you hear what we have to say about this room after having stayed here. But for now, I'm gonna make myself comfortable. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.